to hate on them. And I don't get that. I don't understand that. Okay? Well, then again, I do. You know, when people live low lives, then they tend to hate on people that live high lives. When people live low lives, they hate on people to live high lives. And just because you're in Hollywood and you're you're making the bucks, that doesn't mean you live a you don't live a low life. Because if you gotta rely on looking like a, a street thug and doing rap music, okay, you know what I'm saying? If all you got is jokes, okay, to get you by, okay, that's the only way you know how to be taken seriously is through your jokes. Okay, I mean, yeah, you're even though you're making the bucks, you're you're living a low life, man. You gotta have more to you than being funny. You gotta have more to you than 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 doing rap music. You know what I mean? Which is not American music, by the way. That's strictly that's strictly black music. That's not American music. Okay. Um, even though I like rap music, just like some white people like rap music, but okay. I don't think rap music should be considered American music. It should be considered private music music of a private sector. Listen, to, discretion advised, listen to this at your own risk. And I'm not saying all rap music, but I'm saying what is labeled, you know, American popular rap music, you know, the, you know that kind of stuff, you know. The music that's making all the money. I think that it's 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 Monday. I really do. It's Monday. But you know, these people, anybody who's hating on the Jews got some you don't know what you're talking about. The Jews, nobody knows anything about the Jews except one. The Jews, depending on you know, if they if they are, if they are in real estate, if they are owning production companies of any sort or whatever, they're rich. Okay, the Zionists, for example, are rich. The Zionists is not the whole realm of Jews. That's like what two percent of Jews? Like, come on, man! Like those Jews in Israel that got shot ain't Zionists. All the Zionists are over here in the U.S. There ain't no Zionists over there in Israel. Zionists are these knuckleheads over here in the U.S. that left their country, stabbed their country in the back, and came over here like a bunch of idiots. For what? Oh, to get rich. Okay? Because y'all dumb enough to make everybody rich. Okay? Y'all make money off of their movies. Y'all reproduce their movies. Okay? And I gotta admit, their movies are better than some of your other wicked pornographic rated R NC-17 movies that Americans, you know, then Americans are coming up with, you know what I mean? But you say, oh, well, you know, they're making a, oh, because they're making a fortune on movies. That's not a reason to be anti-Semitic. That's not a reason to hate on Jews. Okay? But anybody that hates on Jews is an idiot. You know what I mean? Because Jews ain't, Jews don't bother anybody. Jews are an example of community and culture and world peace. That's what they're an example of. If you don't know how to have peace, if you don't know how to treat your own people, look at the Jews. Okay? They're good people. You hating on them because, because these are the last days. You know what I'm saying? Like, God ain't playing with you any more than the Jews are playing with you. Okay? And why Dave Chappelle? Why does anybody need to talk even talk about the Jews. If you don't know that much about the Jews, if you ain't got no Jewish friends, why do you need to talk about the Jews? You don't need to even mention them. But no, you're going to get up there and mention them and lose your career or or get blocked like Kanye West and lose a lot of money. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Kanye West, man, I ain't even been talking about him lately. Now, here come Dave Chappelle. He putting in his two cents on the Jews. Now, I'm going to tell you something. That land over there in Israel, I'm going to say one more time, belongs to the Jews. Matter of fact, all of it belongs to the Jews. Okay? The Palestinians are living on Jewish property. Okay? All that belongs to the Jews. But they keep going after the Jews. Why? Because I just found out the the second reason that they go after the Jews is because um, 
um, of the dome and all like that. But the main reason they go after the Jews is because the Jews is right next to them. They do this in their own country. I'm not surprised. They do this in their own country every day. And it's not being even put on TV unless some white reporter thinks that it, it needs to be reported to make money for his news program. But actually, you know, the Jews, I mean, I'm sorry, Palestinians, Arabs, okay, they attack their own people all the time. Hamas is always busy. If they ain't attacking Israel, they're attacking their own people. You know what I'm saying? And what really, really kills me, again, I said this in another video, like, I don't understand how we have Hamas people in the U.S. Like, how'd they get here? Like, you got people out here, and then, you know what? The war was between the Jews and Hamas, Gaza, mainly Hamas. But, you know, Gaza's getting hit in the crossfire, actually. Okay? What I don't understand is, why are y'all... You know, like, why are y'all putting America in, in the middle of this? Why are you yelling at America about this? America didn't, 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 you didn't, you didn't attack America this time, and America didn't attack you. So why are you attacking America and trying to force America to do something or to, or to stop doing something or whatever? Like, it don't make sense. Like, America's not in this war. Now, maybe Biden with his dumb ass, he's going to go put himself in the middle of this war. And if you're not on the side of the Jews, you know, go F yourself, man, because because this is their, you know, like if you're not going to go out there and defend the Jews, stay out of it. OK, stay out of it. That's what I say. Stay out of it. OK. But, you know, Biden going to send troops over there and they want to, they just want a reason to go after the Jews. That's what they want. You know, if the Jews, if the Jews go out there and they continue to retaliate, you know, against what Hamas just did, I guess Biden's going to step in and try to, you know, and I, and I know these Jews, you know, these Jews might fight the U.S. I hope they don't because People like Biden is just looking for an excuse to hurt the Jews. But this goes to show you what's wrong with America. This goes to show you what's wrong with the world at large. People hating on Jews, the most dumbest thing you can do in life. Like, you don't know anything about the Jews. Other than they're over there in Israel minding their own business, don't F with them. That's all you know. But you're going to get up on stage in your little comedy act and act like you know something when you don't know squat. Okay, I know something about the Jews because they're in the Bible. I know something about the Jews because I got Jewish friends. I know something about the Jews because I read about, you know, the things that the Jews go through. Okay? But a lot of y'all don't know nothing about the Jews. Y'all say, who are the Jews? And then instead of finding out who the Jews are, you start making jokes about them. And then, you know, oh, you start taking the Palestinian side. Why? Because there's more Palestinians than there are Jews? Probably. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get, I don't get you. I really don't. I wish people would just buzz off. Okay, this war is between Israel and Hamas. Okay, let Israel do what they got to do to keep Hamas from coming back and coming back and coming back and coming back again and again and again. But don't get involved unless you're going to take the Jews side. Don't get involved. But for you to sit there and say anything about the Jews, which you and I know you don't know squat about, you're an idiot. Dave Chappelle's an idiot for having anything to say. How can you make a joke or whatever you said about the Jews right now while they're freaking mad over there because, you know, they're killing their children and their wives and raping and, and just doing all kinds of mayhem over there? And you want to sit there and say some anti-Semitic bullcrap like Kanye West. You know, did. And he just got done making fun of Kanye West for going and saying something anti-Semitic about the Jews. 
And now I hear Dave Chappelle going to say something. For what? You couldn't make a comedy skit without putting the Jews in there? You know what I mean? This is where I get sick of black people. This is where I get sick of Americans. Okay? Stop putting yourself in the middle of shit. You know, you know, really? Stop putting yourself in there. Stop putting yourself in the middle of stuff. You know what I mean? Stay out of it. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what's going on. Stay out of it. That's what I'm saying. Stay out of it. It's okay if you don't know nothing about the Jews and you don't care because you don't know. Okay, stay out of it then. Stay out of it. Leave them alone. You know what I mean? The Jews ain't... A, and then, you know, like, tell me something. Tell me one thing you know about the Jews that gets on your nerves. The only thing I hate about Jews is when they try to act like white people. And start acting like they don't give a darn about the rest of the tribe. Because they so busy trying to be white. Like a co-worker I know. He went, oh, oh, don't say nothing about Jews. I'm really pissed off. Yeah, yeah, you act anti-Semitic half the time, too. Oh, you thought the Jews built the pyramids. Yeah, under what evil demonic supervision? You know what I mean? But you want to get mad because, oh, did you, you know... You know, people are sitting there taking both sides, or, 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 or you, you, you thought that oh, you thought that America was Semitic, that white people care about the Jews, even though the Jews today, anyway, look white. No, no. Out of all the races out there, the Jews are the only white people, in my opinion, the way they look today, are the only white people that white people separate themselves. They don't separate themselves from Poland. Yeah, they might separate themselves from Russia. Okay, I know a lot of I know a lot of Russians in this country. I got I got a Russian friend that I used to do security with. They don't, you know, they, uh, there's a lot of Russian people that they don't like, but a lot of Russian people are very nice people. Very very nice people. You know, but in closing, um, you got to be an idiot to be. To, you got to be an idiot, and you couldn't. You couldn't at least wait till the war was over before you started throwing them in your little blog or in your little joke or whatever. You couldn't wait till the war was over. Like, come on, man, give me a break. You know what I mean? Like, get, we'll do that next year. Do that another year from now or something. Don't do it while they're still out there killing Jewish babies and 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 raping their women and all like that. Don't make jokes like that, man. Like, whatever Dave Chappelle said, I didn't hear it. I don't want to hear because if he said anything about the Jews at this time other than, oh, I stand with the Jews, okay? He's an idiot. There's only one thing that you can say. We say it in church every Sunday. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That's all you can say because not only biblically, but common sensibly, okay? The Jews are the most sweetest people, okay? You know, you ain't never seen people mind their own business like the Jews mind their own business. And here you go. You're going to say something about it. It just goes to show you what kind of country we live in. It goes to show you what's wrong with black people. It goes to show you what's wrong with white people. It goes to show you. I mean, like, you know, like, my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a real no-brainer, man. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe that America is so dense. I mean, transgenderism got us all screwed up. Ever since transgenderism came out, we've been stupid at everything else, too. You know what I mean? There's always been transgender, and there's transgenderism in the Bible, but they didn't call it transgenderism. It was just cross-dressing, just men dressing up like women, and some of them, you know, men were saying, oh, she's a woman, but... But, I mean, ever since this whole, you know, um, campaign for transgenderism came out, where, you know, this whole pronoun thing and people re ready to go to war because, you know, I mean, we just got dumb 
at everything else. To every sense of the day, we started calling a cross dresser a woman and, and getting on national television and fighting to say that she's a woman, okay? And you get mad when they ask you mature adult spiritual questions, okay? You know, but no, anybody that's hating on the Jews or anybody that wants to talk about the Jews when they know they don't know a goddamn thing about the Jews, okay, you are a freaking idiot. You are an idiot. You need to grow up. You need to grow up here, okay? You're stupid. Leave it alone. If you don't know what you're talking about, be honest and let it go. You wish you knew, but you don't know, so let it go. Open up your Bible, okay? Open up your Bible and learn about the Jews. Uh, read about the Holocaust. Read about, you know, oh, some of y'all, the Holocaust never happened. Whoopi Goldberg, you know. Y'all killing me. Y'all about to make me set it off up in here. I'm serious, man. Like, I'm getting tired of people who just don't care. And they want everybody to know they don't care. Like, we need to know that. We don't need to know that. We don't need to know that. If you don't care, keep it to yourself. You know? And I ain't got a parking space. God damn. Look at this. <coughs> if you don't care, you need to leave it alone. You really do. You need to leave it alone. If you don't care, you need to leave it alone. Just leave it alone. I'm going to ride around because I want my parking space, man. I know somebody I'll be leaving to. It's what I hate about living living in housing, man, because, you know what I mean? It's like people just, you know, people invite company over and then, you know, they always want to take your spot. And they, they, they'll leave their car there on purpose so you can't get your spot, you know just kills me but anyway i'm out of here do your recruit your life applications officer thank you for watching god bless